Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and we're back in Subnautica and I'm just heading to the Degazi habitat because there's a key that I missed on a table inside that we need to get and also that that gap I've just tried coming through I can't quite fit the Cyclops through it so I'm gonna find a better way to bring the Cyclops in and drop a marker down yeah, last time I was in here, I know I keep going past it, but there's an orange key that we need to grab. Let's get the stasis rifle ready. Okay, and there it is, just here. I've found everything else inside this habitat, that would be the last time we need to come back here. We can just mark the exit. I can certainly bring the Cyclops in a lot easier. Where are you at? Yeah, they send out this EMP. It shuts you down for a little bit. So here is where we need to bring the Cyclops down to. Being that the Cyclops can't move very fast, I want to mark this entrance. Yeah, did that work? Just check it. Yeah, okay. So now we've got that beacon there. If we just head straight back towards our base from here, a large mountain in front of us. Okay. Here we go then, get to pilot the Cyclops. Okay, we're on normal mode. We got three torpedoes, our shield generator. We can drop down to 1300 meters. So the plan is we're gonna take this down to the Lost River and try and get down to the Cove Tree. And I've brought enough stuff with us we should be able to build a base down there. It's a little bit difficult to see out of the Cyclops and it doesn't move extremely fast. We are going to have to get past a Ghost Leviathan, that juvenile one, in order to get to where we want to get to. Okay, I've just switched down to the base camera. This is the entrance where I left that marker. From here we should just be able to carry on towards the Degasi habitat. Choose this top camera so I don't hit the top of these this cave system. Now I know there's more than one entrance to get into the Lost River, but I prefer to go in this way, I know this way in. just a little bit difficult to guide the Cyclops. Okay, I think I need to just drop down a bit. We're good. It's a warper there. I don't think it can really do much against this. Okay, that's the Degasi. We need to sort of turn around if we can. Oh, I think I'm hitting the, the rocks. Let's just drop a bit. Yeah. I want to get through that gap if I can. Let's back up. Yeah, there's nothing behind us. I should do it. It's like trying to maneuver a massive truck. Okay. So if we drop down directly behind it. I can hear some creaking, but we're all good. Oh. I think that's the uh, spiders are coming over. I could release a decoy, but I'll just stick the shields up. I think the 
lights really help me here. Yeah, they can't do much. So it's down here we need to get. It's a little gap. I'm pretty sure I can get the Cyclops through it. It's a little bit tight. Warper there now. Everything's on us. Yeah, they can't really do much against the Cyclops. Okay. Should just drop down now. This is kind of tricky. near there. So if we just drop directly down. Oops. Okay. I forgot I had my shield on still. Wasted quite a lot of power there. I think we're alright. We're good. We're in. We're in the Lost River. See, nothing's followed us in. Okay, 32% power though. I have got a couple of fully charged batteries. We've not taken any damage. Okay, I've already let one of the creature decoys off, but it didn't affect it. I need to get a bit closer. Right, shields up. Let's release the decoys when it comes towards us. Full, full power. We gotta wait. We, we don't want to overheat. Okay, it's targeting us now. Oh, it hit us. Cool. It hit us with quite a, quite hard there. I think the decoys have distracted it. I hope. I think we're good. Right. Oh. Power. Okay, it's coming in. This could be bad. We've sprung some leaks. I'm going to have to get out and repair this. See. We're running low on power as well. I've got the spare batteries we can use if we can get it up and running. Hopefully we've got far enough away from it. Oh, it's right there. I don't know if it's coming towards us or not. Alright, let's just try and get this repaired. I keep thinking it's going to come towards me. Whoa. Okay, we got one at the back. You just stay there. Don't come over here. Right. Okay. I know there was something near the front screen as well. Or was it? Doesn't seem to be coming over here. Oh, hang on. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be aggroing on us. It seems to be done with us at the minute. Okay. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Right, this is not good. Okay. Swap these batteries over. That'll give us a little bit. Um, I'll shove these back in here. Obviously this is not going to be any good because it's just going to drain the power that we've already got. So 33%. We'll go slow. Silent running as well. 
We don't want to outgrow the Leviathan anymore. We just need to find the cove. Okay, this looks like the entrance to the cove tree. Got about 17% left on the power. This is why we need to get a base down here, I'm pretty sure. There it is. We get a thermal vent. We can get our batteries charged up. It's just as well we packed everything to build a base midway down. At least so we can get a charge. There should be some resources to mine around here as well. this area. So what I'm thinking is there's some steam geysers just at the back. There's one there. I think if we set up some sort of habitat just here we can get all of our batteries charged up and we can continue down beyond this point. Okay. Let's just grab some water. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, so I'm just putting the thermal plant down. And 68 degrees C, that's pretty good. That's going to give us more than enough power to charge everything up we need and make a little base. But I am going to have to think about making the base above 900 meters so I can bring the seam off in here. Just stick a habitat down. Now if we put the moon pool off to the side of this, we might need to bring it higher. It may not be enough. It's already got oxygen, it's already hooked up with power. Let's just stick a hatch on the side here. And there we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so power cell charger. Let's get these Cyclops batteries charging. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we need to make this a little bit more homely. I think we're going to need to reinforce it. And there's plenty of lithium around here. So, where is... There we go. Um, it won't let us put it there. Maybe it's because I've got the battery charger. Just here will do. Okay. We'll do a little building montage. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. We've sprung a leak mid-montage, I guess. Oh no, the observatory's got water in it. Right, okay, this won't do. We'll have to patch it up and carry on. Get some more materials with the prawn suit. Just underneath here, it's a massive chunk of uranite crystal. I've got some more titanium, loads of lithium. 
even a few rubies. There's quite a few resources down here. Right, well, we're all charged up. Well, 88% and I've got two spare full batteries, so we're near enough there. Only got the one creature decoy. But until we find Kyanite, we can only drop 1300 meters. So if we just go down here gradually and drop down, see how far we can get. Hopefully we can mine a little bit of Kyanite. Then we can come back and recharge. Okay, so it's a little bit of a gap here. I'll twist round and gradually go down. Again, it is a little bit difficult with the Cyclops. You get used to it though, flicking between the cameras. If I like these poles. It's definitely my favourite area, this. Okay, so we need to follow these briny rivers even deeper. Don't hit the top, we'll just drop a bit more. Yeah, plenty of room. Okay. I think you can see there's a start of a active lava zone. the roof it's a little bit dark okay a thousand meters we can do another nearly 300 so dark to see anything in here now I need to keep an eye out for kyanite crystals because I need to upgrade both the Cyclops or the Red Dwarf and the Prawn Suit so we can drop further down. Okay, I guess we better check that out. Sounds like something's out there. I can't see anything. Something definitely was knocking. And investigate a little bit closer. Ah, oh, yeah, just as I thought. Minox probably chewing on the power cables or something. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't know what they're called, but um, they do. They've got a, a red eye eye. These guys do grab on to the Cyclops and drain it of power. Okay, 54%. Engine powering down. I think we'll get out and have a little look outside. I don't want to go much further because we can't drop much deeper. So we keep getting these larvae a touch into the Cyclops and draining it of power. Should find kyanite round here. Ah, there we go. It's that blue crystal. careful around here. So I think it's easy enough to bring the prawn suit over here. Should get quite a bit for this. Right, I'll just go back and grab it. I'll just grab this bit of kyanite as well. Then I know we've got plenty. We can do them upgrades. So yeah, 
yeah, that doesn't sound friendly. It's around here somewhere. You can't not hear it. Where are you? It sounds angry. Oh, jeez. Oh, my heart. A little heart. I wasn't expecting that. I was just grabbing the silver. <laughs> I wasn't looking at all then. So I know the sea dragon is around here. Well, you can hear it. Fortunately, he's not seen me yet. Just need a couple of bits of silver. I'm not sure if I needed a wiring kit, so... We've grabbed some. What's that? Nothing. Okay, the red dwarf's just there. It's still in one piece. Right, we've got enough kyanite and everything we need to get the upgrades. Let's get that sorted. Okay, so... Now, I've had to make up another Mark II module in order to make the third module. Because I'm choosing to make this down at 900 meters down, if I take the second module out of the Cyclops to upgrade it, it will just crush it. So, it's cost us a little bit of extra materials to do it. But now, if we come here, you'll see I've got an extra Mark II, but I didn't want to take that out. Otherwise, we would have destroyed the Red Dwarf. Now, there is another upgrade that I want on the Red Dwarf, and... Hang on a second. Am I seeing things? How did you get in here? And you're giant. Absolutely massive. <laughs> I think it's glitched out. They shouldn't even be up here that high. What's that? A really giant one. I don't know. He must have got a lot of power. Um, yeah. On here, we wanted to do the thermal power generator, which regens the power of the Cyclops, fills up our batteries when we drop into the lava zone. So now we can go 1700 meters. And we can also do that with the prawn suit. Um, I just want to get the thermal generators sorted out so we don't have to worry about power down there anymore. Okay, we're pretty much there. I've got the thermal generator mod on the Cyclops now. So even if, we'll just call them the Minox, even if the Minox do attach themselves to the Red Dwarf, it's okay. Because we can still generate power. And I can just switch the shield on for a second as well, that just fries them. So let's get back down. To that depth again we should be able to I want to head towards the mountain in the middle okay I think this looks good I don't want to come out too far because I'm pretty sure our friends around here somewhere so I think I might just park the Cyclops here let's put silent running on as well Rig for silent running. Okay. We should be pretty much invisible. Um, I think I'll leave the red lights. I think the red lights mean they can't see. Okay. Right. Let's take the uh, prawn suit out for a run. Now you can't move incredibly fast in this thing. That's why I like to have the grappling look, hook as one of the attachments for it. Just helps you get that little bit more speed if you can just grapple onto something. You can certainly hear him around here somewhere. Sounds terrifying. Oh, look at that. A skeleton here. That looks like a Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Okay. Can't hear him. 
See some warpers up there. Guess we'll scan this. Yeah. Whatever's making that noise eats these things for breakfast. Gives you some idea of how big the sea dragons are. We still can't see them. Let's just get up to this mountain. See if we can see better up there. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard something. Look, hang on. Are we getting fired at? Okay, look, there it is. I thought it saw me before, so I've just come away from the mountain, but... It seems to be... Doesn't seem to be interested in me at the minute, so I'm gonna make another run. Now, I can't get away from it very fast, but it's kind of circling somewhere where I need to get. Okay, right, it's going the other way now. Just come through here. Oh, this is it, this is it, this is where we need to get. Yeah, it doesn't seem to see me. These alien markings here. It's just terrifying the sound it makes. Okay. I got plenty of kyanite. Can we get past? creature eggs here. I think that's them sharks that are attacking me. Um, actually, I'm not going to bother taking them. We are growing our friends back at the base. So, I've got... I'm not sure if I've got... I've got two of them. I know there's five in total to collect. We'll see if we can find some more before the end of the playthrough. Alright, if we just jump across here, this is what we're looking for. Right in the centre of this mountain. Is this. Alright, let's get inside. Okay. So we're protected in here. Sea dragon can't get inside this mountain. I'll bring some keys with me. Okay. So we can drill to get some more iron cubes if we need. And I think this just leads up to another exit. Yeah, there's one round each side. Okay, let's stick a tablet in. Let's see if what's through door number one. Okay, a new type of tablet. And we'll scan it. I think you get the data download anyway when you do pick it up, but... There's a key around the corner. Come here to me. It's our friend again. Is it down? Ah, here we go. This might explain what this place is. Grab that iron cube. And what kind of tablet is this? Purple. I've got one of them on the prawn suit. Okay, let's run back and grab that. 
Okay, yeah, fortunately I did bring two of the purple keys with me. Thought I'd need them. And... Okay, so this is the alien thermal power plant. This is basically what's powering everything on the island. Integrating new PDA data. Including Primary the weapon. Alien facility location updated. Volcanic area connected to this cave system at depth 1.4 kilometers. And we've also got an update on where the primary containment facility is. Which is not far from this facility. Let's just grab this data here. I am power data. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, so that now means synthesizing ion power blueprints from alien data. There we go. Blueprints stored to data bank. So we've now got new blueprints allowing us to use those ion cubes and we can use ion power. Which is good, which means we won't even need to recharge the ion batteries. So this large structure here is basically feeding off thermal power and generating it all over the island. And we've now got the location of the primary facility, which I think we'll go and check out, but before we do, Let's just shove that iron cube in here and find out where this stargate leads us. And I think this should be the main alien base on the island with the gun, yeah, as you can see, let's come out this way, I think we're at the bottom, and this is where we can dock the submarine, just inside here, okay, so now with that stargate open, we can jump about a lot easier, this brings us right down to the thermal power plant, Okay, well let's get back inside and I'm going to have a look find out a little bit more about the primary containment facility. Okay, so let's go and have a little look around for that. Nothing more in here. Okay, so I've read the data and it said it's not far southwest of this position. There's a cave system. So if we get out of this mountain and head southwest, let's see if we can find it. May as well while we're out here. He hasn't seen me, I don't think. Let's go, this is southwest. Actually, I think he might have seen me. Oh god, alright, okay. Uh, I don't want to look. Oh, let's just turn around quick. Yeah, oh, he's, he's, he's definitely coming. Come on, we get down here. Whoa, he's firing fire at us. Great balls of fire. Let's see you get down here. I think we might have just got out this way. Yeah, yeah, you can't come in here. Aha. Oh, oh, it's our friend again. I am what you seek, want to help you. Okay, so it's quite hot down here. Um, I'm not sure I want to take the prawn suit any further. Let's just have a quick look. 
It's all right, we can take the damage. It's only a little bit. Health's not going down too much. Yeah, I can hear another one. Yeah, we good. Oh, okay, this is it. Yeah, I'll just leave the prawn suit back there. It's going to be pretty cl hard to get it across this lava river. to get to. Yeah, there's definitely another one in here. I can hear it. It's definitely close. Okay, just get through here. Yeah, no props. Yeah, that didn't even damage us that much at all. We could take quite a lot of heat there. Oh, and it requires a blue. Okay, so this is the primary containment facility. It's just a little maintenance robot here left by the previous alien race. This structure is absolutely massive. Plenty of relics to discover, find out a little bit about the history. But that's going to have to wait until next time. We'll investigate this place in the next episode of Complete Subnautica. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you haven't already done so. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.